What's happening? Hope you're doing awesome. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to consolidate your Pro Tools sessions and save them to another drive or take them to another studio or send them to another producer or collaborator. Um, let's say you just finished doing a, a mix or a recording and, and you know you want to make sure that all the files that are linked to the session are there when you you know take it to another studio. Um, because oftentimes files are linked or you pulled in loops from another drive or from a website or, you know, the files can be all over the place. And the last thing you want to happen is you drive an hour across town and you open up the session and, dope, your files aren't there. So to avoid this, what you want to do is when you're done with your, your session, you want to go over to this little clips guy here and you want to select you want to do two things. First you want to select unused and then you want to hit oh, you know, select unused and then you want to clear. Um, I've already done this <laughs> so once you hit clear that will get rid of all the files that you're not using and then if you want to go and select offline you can clear again. Um, and just to show you what that looks like, if we select here and we hit clear, it's going to give you this dialog box. And you can just remove uh, the clips from the session and it won't save it um, with the new one. But if you hit delete, it's going to permanently delete all of these from the disk. So just to be safe, hit the remove button. So again, you're going to do that for um, unused and offline. Okay, and once you've done that, you're going to go over to File here and you're going to do Save Copy In. You don't want to do Save As because that's just going to save the session itself, but it's not going to save you know, all of the files that are associated with this. So you want to hit Save Copy In and the, the main things to look at, you, you definitely want to make sure that your audio files are selected. If you're working with video files, you want to make sure that's selected. If you just select those two things, you should be pretty good. Um, you want to leave the bit depth with the same bit depth you've already got selected in the session. So I've already got this at 24-bit and 44-1. Um, and then you want to hit OK. And it's going to bring up um, a dialog box. So I'm going to save this and what it's going to do is it's going to copy all of these files into this new session and if anything was linked um, it's going to copy them over if it's you know if you but it also won't take over all of your unused and offline files so it'll make your file size smaller so you just hit save and see what it's doing. It's processing everything, copying everything. And this is the best way and the only way I, I move a session. Even if I'm going to, you know, I want to move this to a new drive, you don't want to go to um, the folder, just copy it and then paste it um, because you can run into an issue with missing files. So always 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 use save copy in to move your session and you'll have great results all right hope that was helpful to you and uh, i'll catch you on the flip side feel free to like and subscribe and if you have any questions about this feel free to put them in the comments below all right take care